even if you claim that an electron has consciousness, which, which I, I, I don't think there's ev in a, scientific evidence for this at this point. I think there's degrees of consciousness. I would say that a dog, for instance, consciousness is not the same as a man consciousness. I mean, uh, and once you've seen an electron, you've seen them all. You know, they change only. <laughs> You, you, um, they change only by their mass, the electric charge, and the spin. You know, we wonder about what is the origin of the universe, you know, where are we going, where, well, whether there's life or death. Uh, I don't, uh, and you know, what happened after our, our death. But I don't think a dog or a cat asks himself that question. You see, so there's a, don't go, don't go. Of course, I don't speak cat, but, 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 I don't, but I don't think, I don't think that, you know, a cat would ask himself this question. Of course, I don't see, uh, Cats uh, producing uh, Be uh, Beethoven symphony or painting, you know, a Monet. Uh, I think there's different degrees of consciousness, and we cannot put all this, uh, all of uh, uh, these uh, uh, you know, things in nature, things in the universe, on the same level. Okay, so so uh, again, then I would ask you, what is your opinion on that? Would you say that still that an electron is the same as a human being? So the question reflects. Uh a uh, mind of discrimination, <laughs> very clear. <laughs> we know that we, when, we, when we look into ourselves as a human being, we see that the human being is made on, only of non-human elements. We have the mineral element in us. We have the element of vegetable in us, and we have the element animal in us. Not only we have uh, human ancestors, mm -hmm. but we also have uh, animal ancestors, mm -hmm. and uh, vegetable ancestors, and also mineral ancestors. And uh, our ancestors are, do not belong to the past. They, be, they belong to the present. They are fully present in us. Without them, we cannot see the way we see. We cannot think the way we think. We cannot live the way we live. And uh, the electron also is also in us. So when I produce a thought, every ancestor in me, including the mineral ancestor, the animal, the visual ancestors, collaborate with me in order to produce that thought. It's like when you see, you look at a tree. That is not the job of only your eyes. And you know very well. And without the brain, without uh, the blood, without uh, uh, the cells in your body, without all that, seeing is, would be an impossible thing for eyes. So when the eye see, the whole body uh, is participating in the act of seeing. So when we produce a thought, when we reason, when we uh, create music, when we do mathematics, not only if a number of neurons are doing so, but the whole body, the whole, un the whole lineage of ancestors in us are participating in producing that thought. So uh, looking like that, you see that you are not, you are made of non-you elements. And the non-you element continue to be in you, and if you remove the non-you element out, uh, there's no more you left. So we have the complex of superiority as a human being. We think that we have that kind of intelligence, that kind of consciousness that other living beings do not have. But I'm not very proud of uh, the kind of mind that we are using in our daily life, the mind of discrimination. That mind of discrimination caught by many notions are the foundation of all kinds of suffering. We discriminate against this and that. And that creates a, a, a complexes of superiority 
inferiority, uh, equality, and so on. This plant has intelligence. This plant has knowledge. This plant has a will to live. This plant, this, this plant knows how to fabricate flower and fruit, how to continue to live the, the best way it can. And it seems to me that, that this plant is creating less suffering than we human beings. I am not very proud of my mind of discrimination. Therefore, I am free from the complex of superiority of a human being. I know that I can do better. And with the, that is why um, when you produce a thought, Mother Earth is producing that thought together with you. Don't say that you are alone producing that thought. Mother Earth is in you, and she is at the, at the foundation. And she is producing that thought with you at the same time. So this thought is not your property. This thought that is just produced is a property, is a creation of the whole uh, Earth. And not only the earth, the sun also. Because without the sun, the earth cannot be herself. And she is not able to create you, to bring you into uh, existence. So that is uh, the mind of non-discrimination. As uh, far as uh, you use the mind of discrimination to judge and uh, to organize, you continue to create suffering. That is why it's so important to learn how to remove uh, notions that uh, are the, at the foundation of separation and discrimination. <laughs>